Hello again everyone, Zack Attack is here with the attack line for Wednesday, September the 25th, 2013. I'm in a very good mood today, but six tickets for the concert at Caesars Windsor on December 27th. Can't wait to see that, but on with the entertainment news of the day. Kicking up with your Billboard number ones. First things first, we have a new number one album, Mr. Jack Johnson, from his album... From here to there, I think it's the name of the album. I forgot the name of the album. Uh, but it's his fourth number one album. So congrats to Jack Johnson for his fourth number one big day for him. But uh, when we have a still uh, new number one album, we have a still number one single. Second week in a row, yes, Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. Big week for her. Not only is she celebrating her second week, she's also on the front of the Rolling Stone this week. From uh, hanging across in the boob, hanging out a little bit. No nipple, though. Uh, I'm a subscriber, so I got the Rolling Stone first. Cause big, intriguing interview with Miley commenting about people's reactions to the now infamous VMA performance. It's telling all the haters to back off. So I haven't read the whole article yet, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna read it when I get a chance. I take my time with the stone because stones don't stones are two weeks. So I gotta wait two weeks for new stones. So there you go, Miley on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Still number one single, Jack Johnson, new number one album. Now, speaking of artists who had number one singles over the last couple of years, uh, today, Kesha revealed the trailer for her second season of her show, Crazy Beautiful Life. Now, like Miley, she likes to truck, as we've seen in the trailer that was revealed on MTV's website. Now, we don't know if she's going to drink pee like she did in the first season, but the new season looks like it's going to be more outrageous. Shot... Mostly, once again, shot from her brother's point of view, her older brother, Logan, Logan, who taped the first season. Basically, the first season covered the Get Sleazy tour, all the way to the recording of Warrior. Now, this covers the second season of the Warrior tour, her U.S. tour with Pitbull, and a European tour. I don't know if they taped the show I was at, Windsor, last month, when she kicked off the second leg of a Warrior tour, uh... Solo headlining without Pitbull. But who knows. But the new season of Kesha by Crazy Beautiful Life will be on September the 20th. Uh, October 30th. Day before Halloween at 10.13. That will be a Wednesday. Wednesday, October 30th at 10.30. New season of Kesha's show. Now, I'll talk to you about another Wednesday night show that returns tonight in a few moments. But first... Uh, news on WWE. Uh, WWE taped SmackDown yesterday, so they taped a little spoiler. A stipulation has been added to a title match at Battleground. No, it's not Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. Hopefully, there will be a stipulation for that match. Couldn't know the controversy involving that match, but we all should have guessed there will be some sort of stip involving another title match. Alberto Del Rio versus RBD. After Alberto's Cheap victory, cheap disqualification. I thought it'd be no DQ, but it's better than no DQ. The match is extreme rules for the whatever championship. Really in all these favor, you know ECW, you know former ECW champion, former WWE champion. We'll see. We'll see on the ECW. So I was. We'll see how Butler does it. I don't think butler has been in eye crit matches and last man standing matches with weapons. So we'll see how he can handle RVD. In this sort of extreme matchup here. And of course, Battleground will be in two weeks, a week from this Sunday, actually, from Buffalo, only on pay per view. Hopefully, we'll find out a stiff for Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan on War Monday. Besides those two matches, of course, why back and see if Punk is official when we get more matches on Monday. Now, on uh, with uh, Modern Family Preview, that's the good news out of the bad news. The bad news is there's no Duck Dynasty tonight. Dr. Nice, he's taking a week off. So we can let Modern Family get the spotlight. Of course, the full time, full time, full time, full time Emmy winning best comedy series lands in premiere for the fifth season. The last season was a decent season. The first half was okay. In the second half, they, I thought they really killed it in the second half. So we'll see if they start off the bat great in season number five. We'll see how this unfolds. That 9, 8 central, 1 hour season premiere of Modern tonight at 9 on A. 
B, C, I'm gonna do a little stuff before I go. I bought some books with a little shop that you did. Bought and Noble got some used books. Include this Live Aid book that's <laughs> like on sale. So, did some shopping besides it. Uh, American Bandstand book. Madonna's on there. And Prince too on the cover. I got uh, Lady Gaga. I get every magazine of Gaga on the cover. There she is on the cover of L. I need to read it though. Can't wait to see that article. And a Rolling Stones book. I got the 12. It was 60 originally last year, so that's all I'm going to end today's attack line. Thank you all very much for watching with that in mind. You've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Have a great rest of your Wednesday, everybody. Yeah.